Is there a difference between magma and lava? People often use these terms interchangeably. However, there is a difference. Liquid rock that comes out of volcanoes during eruptions is called lava. The nice glow we see at eruptions during the night is always lava and never magma. Actually, you can never see magma at the Earth's surface. Why is that so? This is because magma refers to liquid rock inside the Earth. Magma forms when solid rock melts. Melting typically occurs in the Earth's mantle at a few tens of kilometers of depth to maybe up to 100 kilometers of depth. The melt then moves upwards towards the Earth's surface. In the crust it moves along cracks, so-called dikes. These bright colored areas are dikes. They opened a few kilometers under the Earth's surface due to the pressure of the magma. Some of the magma remained in the cracks where it solidified to form these bright colored rocks. In this shot we see a big dike in Greenland. It is about 2 billion years old. So magma flowed through these rocks a very long time ago. Magma can accumulate inside the Earth's crust or at the base of the crust to form magma chambers. From there it can move further towards the surface along dikes or it can slowly solidify in the magma chambers. Actually most of the magma that is generated on Earth never erupts. It stalls at depth and solidifies there before reaching the surface. The orange colored rocks in this shot are remnants of a solidified magma chamber that formed below the surface. Today we can examine this fossil magma chamber because erosion has removed the rocks that were once on top of it. If magma reaches the Earth's surface, it is called lava. At depth magma is molten rock that contains variable amounts of solid particles, dissolved gas and gas bubbles. The most abundant gas in magma is water vapor. This gas is under a lot of pressure when the magma is at depth and is dissolved in the magma, like CO2 is dissolved in a bottle of soda. As the magma moves towards the surface, the pressure is reduced more and more, eventually reaching atmospheric pressure. Therefore, the gas inside the magma changes from the dissolved state into an exsolved state. It forms gas bubbles that escape into the atmosphere. Like when you open a bottle of soda and the CO2 bubbles start to escape. And this is where we find the difference between magma and lava. Lava is degassed magma. We see here bubbles bursting in the lava. This is the gas that is escaping. Depending on the magma composition and temperature, the gas can also violently escape in the form of explosions. This is how volcanic ash is produced. So in short, liquid rock at the Earth's surface is called lava and liquid rock inside the Earth is called magma. Have you ever seen liquid lava at an erupting volcano? Let me know in the comments on which volcano. In the next video we will have a look at the chemical composition of lava which has strong implications for its behavior. See you there!